Exploring the phrase, go back for thirds. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's English language learning journey. In this video, we're diving into an interesting and mouth-watering phrase, go back for thirds. This expression is not just about food, but it's also a fascinating glimpse into English idiomatic language. Stay tuned as we unravel its meaning and usage. Go back for thirds refers to the action of serving oneself a third portion of food after having already served oneself twice. This phrase is built on the numerical sequence of serving oneself food. Firsts, seconds, and then thirds. While going back for seconds is a common practice, expressing the desire or action of getting a third serving underscores a significant appetite or appreciation for the meal. This expression is deeply rooted in cultures that celebrate abundance and the joy of eating. It's often heard during family gatherings, holiday feasts, or potluck parties where the table is laden with various dishes. Using, go back for thirds, implies not only the eater's enjoyment and approval of the food but also the abundance provided by the host. It's a phrase that encapsulates satisfaction, indulgence, and communal dining experiences. To help you grasp how to use this phrase in real-life conversations, here are some examples. The lasagna was so delicious that I had to go back for thirds. At Thanksgiving, it's almost a tradition for me to go back for thirds, given how good everything tastes. She laughed and said she'd never seen anyone go back for thirds at a dinner party before. These examples show the phrase in action, highlighting its use in scenarios where food and dining are at the heart of the experience. While, go back for thirds, is a positive expression denoting enjoyment, be mindful of the context in which you use it. It's perfect for casual conversations and sharing dining experiences but might be too informal for professional or formal settings. Also, remember, this phrase is best used when you genuinely enjoyed the meal and want to complement the host's cooking skills or the quality of food. And that wraps up our exploration of, go back for thirds. We hope this video has not only made you a bit hungrier but also enriched your understanding of English idiomatic expressions. Remember, language learning is not just about grammar and vocabulary, it's also about embracing the cultural nuances that make speaking English a delightful experience. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to our next linguistic adventure together.